Hey guys, welcome to a brand new week. Things are back to normal, kind of. <laughs> so I got a Monday day off and um, finished any of the vlog that's exporting right now. I think I keep, I feel like I'm repeating myself because that's what I always do. <laughs> but yeah, vlog is done. Um, I'm exhausted still. Um, I'm like half awake right now. So yesterday I fell asleep or completely knocked out at around 10 p.m. I woke up at 6 a.m. to use the bathroom <laughs> and then back to sleep, woke up around 7.30 a.m. and then I couldn't go to sleep so I decided to start the day. You're thinking, that's probably that's more than eight hours, James. You should be okay. I'm still tired. I don't know what I'm catching up on, but um, I feel a little better. I'm not lightheaded like I was like two, two days in a row last uh, week. Um, I'm not lightheaded, so it's a lot better. I think it did have to do with something, the, the heat in my room, because I did turn up because it got so cold, but it was just too hot, I think, which caused me to be lightheaded. I don't know, because as soon as I turned it down yesterday, I don't feel lightheaded today after sleeping. So I think that solved it. Um, but yeah, I woke up really early, uh, started the vlog. Um, if it's loud right now, I just started a load of laundry, basically with bed sheets, because new month, which means, you guys know what that means. First day off of a new month, I'm going to clean the apartment top to bottom. So, um, the vlog being done, all I need really to do now, I'm going to vacuum, uh, clean the bathroom and kitchen, and I think that's it. Right? I dusted yesterday, took my Christmas tree down, so that was success. Speaking of Christmas tree. <laughs> you guys know, remember, if you guys watched the vlog last week, I was struggling to find a place to put everything. So, what's the light? Hold on. So, I ended up putting the biggest part of the Christmas tree in the garbage bag. I managed to really clump it up and not damage the branches so that it will fit nicer. So, that's just one part of the Christmas tree. And then, <laughs> I think I am gonna get um, a cardboard uh, or bin to put it in. And here's the top of the tree, just hanging out on my yoga mat here. And I have another part of the tree here. At least it's not sprawled across my floor anymore, so that's better. But I think I am going to go with the bin idea, because if it's so clumped up right now, I think I can put it into a decent bin. Uh, I need a vacuum, though. All the little bits of the Christmas tree are all around. But yeah. After all the cleaning, I'm probably just going to chill out and probably knock out very early again. I'm aiming to knock out again at 10 p.m. and just sleep, because I have to wake up early tomorrow for a meeting. I don't know how I'm going to survive that because I'm so tired. Hopefully another good night's rest will help me. My lovely Mumsy dropped by and gave me a nice little grocery care package. Because <laughs> she knew I wasn't feeling too hot with my sleeping. So I'm pretty sure she bought things that I bought yesterday, but that's okay. Oh, she got me some uh, soups. Some chicken noodle. Some, one of my favorites. And it's barely on sale. She said she found it at Walmart for sale. This is why my mom's better at grocery shopping than me because she buys. She knows when things go on sale. Know how? She doesn't look at coupons or anything. I don't understand. Here, mushroom soup. Ooh, two of them. Jackpot. What else is in here? Ooh. She got me some cold cut ham. I bought some yesterday, but it's always good to have some. I'm basically not gonna have any good reason to not cook at home because I'm so fully stocked. Ooh. A big package of pasta. Awesome. Oh, she got me some milk. Not a big one because she knows I can't drink it all on time. I don't drink that much milk. Oh, she got me a can of tuna. It's like a little... <laughs> it is all your little necessities. And she got me some cheese. Awesome. Thanks, Mumsy. I definitely don't have an excuse not to cook now because I have all the ingredients. Now, the problem is putting it in all my fridge. <laughs> I'm running low on my fr in my fridge. Okay, I'll figure it out. I shall figure it out. Okay, the house is super clean now. And then, um, I still have some time. I'm not hungry yet. I'm probably gonna wait another 30 minutes before I eat dinner. But I figured I should open my air fryer now. <laughs> I've been it off for quite some time. Oh, there's two on both sides or one side? I'm confused. Oh, there's two on one side only. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna open this up, read the instructions. Probably not gonna use it yet. Get it all clean and ready to go. I got it out. 
Ha! Can't beat me. Huh. It's bigger than I thought. I think I thought it would be like half the box, but it's the whole box. Alright. Yeah, let's start one back in so that it doesn't pop, break and create a mess because I hate cleaning styrofoam. This is annoying. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here I need. I hope. So let's just put this away. Okay. Woo! Ooh, look, 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 look how pretty. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know where I'm going to put this in my kitchen. Because it has the, um, vent here in the back, so hot air is going to come out of it. I don't want to put it against the wall. I'm no, I'm pretty sure it'll be okay if I put it against the wall, but I don't like it. I've seen many TikToks, many YouTube videos doing that, and it looks fine, but why the unnecessary risk? What's probably going to happen because I'm not going to use this that often at the start, is I'll probably put it in a cabinet and when I need to use it, I'll pull it out and plug it in the um, end of my counter there where I plug in my rice cooker to cook. That way, actually no, I can put this on the counter next to my rice cooker on the side there. And then when I need to use it, I'll pull it out and put it to the side where I use my cooker. Maybe I'll just take you guys to show you. Put my move my candle to the side, move this down to the side, and I, put my, I can put it uh, here, and then what I usually do with my rice cooker is I need to use it, because I like steam hitting the top of this thing. And I grab the rice cooker, da -da 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 -da, and I put it here, and I plug it in here to use. So um, that's what I'm probably going to do with my uh, air fryer, is going to store it in this area. When I need to use it, I'm going to grab it, pull it out, and put it here, and then plug it in to use. Some of that. I'm gonna check out the instructions now. is I get more footage because I have to record myself cooking. <laughs> also, I treated myself a little bit. Well, did I? Yeah, I did. Typically, this is a treat. So I got a coupon in my cereal boxes and my cookie bo <laughs> cookies, and it was for an ice cream cake coupon. Save 50% off, and I got myself an ice cream cake. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, it's 50% off. Hard to resist. And this Homer cake was kind of calling me. It's so simple. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna defrost it and then I'm gonna pre cut all the pieces like I usually do.
did a shitter, and as you can see, I had tteokbokki that I made again. It was really good. I altered the recipe a little bit, and it worked out very well. I added some grilled beef to it, and guys, it works out very well. <laughs> and then I did dishes. See, the reason I'm cooking a lot, which is a good thing, I'm not spending any money, which was part of my New Year's resolution, and I'm being very good with it. I'm actually quite happy, and I don't, and don't forget, I actually like cooking. I enjoy it. But I forget the amount of dishes you have to do because I'm not only cooking for dinner because I don't want to buy food for myself unless I'm out with friends. The thing is, I'm also making sure I don't buy food for work so I can't buy any food at the food court, right? Unless, you know, it's a treat after, like... As I said, I don't think I told you guys, like, I'm not buying any food at the food court but once in a while I'm allowed to treat myself but not that often. I think every two weeks I'm allowed to do it once because I get paid every two weeks, right? <laughs> anyway, so because of that... I'm also cooking lots of lunch. So the amount of dishes I've been having to do is ridiculous. So that's one thing I'm disliking about this right now. But yeah, even though I set the rule that I can have, treat myself every two weeks because of a paycheck, I don't think I need to because I don't mind the cooking. Actually, I don't. <laughs> and you're wondering if we have a dishwasher deal. Like, yes, I do, but I don't produce or create enough dishes to put a full load. It's kind of a waste. So that's why. Anyway, so I was successful in cooking lunch again for tomorrow. I already cooked it off. It was the chicken from yesterday. I've had this chicken for like four meals now. Like, the 13 bucks stretch me for four meals and I'm full every time. Yes, there's chicken every day for lunch, but at least I wasn't actually sick of it at all. I haven't been sick of it at all. It's actually really good that chicken I marinated it, so it's fine. <laughs> and plus, I'm eating something completely different for dinner, so that's why it's fine. So yeah, I have chicken again for tomorrow, but then uh, tomorrow night I'm going to have to think of something else. I might be lazy for Sunday and just make a sandwich because I still have bread, so I might just do that. And then I also picked up some groceries again, reset my fridge. I can't, I've been, I'm, by me cooking, I've already saved a lot of money. <laughs> like, the money I have left over right now before my last paycheck, or the paycheck I paid today, I got, I had... $300 left over. I usually have about 150 left over and I move to savings. I have $300 I move to savings, which is like, whoa. That's more. It's almost double. <laughs> and that's considering I bought like smoothies and Starbucks too. So that's pretty good. I was actually quite shocked. <laughs> but me not buying food at the food court and me not buying food for dinner by myself, it actually helps a lot. But yeah. Standard Sunday, didn't really do much, went to work in the morning, came home, and just relaxed. I think my days have just been nearly work, home, work, home. <laughs> so that's why the footage has been really boring. But then again, it's been like that for a while. <laughs> but at the same time, because of what's happening, people are getting sick so easily, it's good that I am keeping to this routine. I guess back then when I had to take Yuna out for walks, it's a little different, I got footage even during a pandemic, because there's footage there of me going out. Right now, it's just me going to work at home, that there's not much to share. I do apologize, guys. And when I do have an opportunity to vlog more, when I go with friends, I'm not vlogging enough. So, <laughs> maybe I should focus on that a little bit next week. I'm not going to hold my breath to it. But then again, every the last two weeks, I really wanted to go cut my hair, but I couldn't because of the snow. It literally snows always the day before my day off. So it always ruins things. So hopefully this weekend I'll cut my hair. I really, really need to cut my hair because it's so long right now. <laughs> um, so far, I, um, I had some food and then I, I was going to play some video games and I got really late. And I wasn't really in the mood, surprisingly. So then I started um, reading and listening to some Korean pronunciations because I have a lot of those books that are really, really good. It's by that author that's really good. Talk to me Korean, the author of that. Um, but I can't hear the pronunciation. 
he has a YouTube channel which goes over the pronunciation, which is really good. So I've been watching that. I haven't opened the textbook yet because I wasn't really in the mood that I want to listen to some stuff, which is also really good to listen to. And then, oh, sorry, the tea got to it. <laughs> and then uh, on my phone, I'm using the app Lingo Deer. It lets me learn a lot of ancient languages. It's really fun. Um, it's free to use to an extent. Um, the beginner lessons are all free, but then you have to subscribe afterwards for like five ninety nine a month or something to get access to the lessons. So I'm not going to pay for it yet until I know it's actually really good or works. So far, it's okay. It's not the greatest. It's not terrible. It's kind of fun to play. But yeah. But yeah, probably I'm going to end the week here. Nothing going on tomorrow is my day off. So yeah, I'm probably going to get very easy tomorrow. Um, I do have a few errands to run tomorrow, but it's not urgent. I'm planning on cutting my hair again Thursday because <laughs> of my bad luck, my other day off Monday, which is Mondays always, I have day off, uh, my barber is closed. <laughs> so my only days to go is Thursday. So I'm planning to do my errands on Thursday as well. I am grouping everything so I don't have to go in and out that often. So tomorrow I can just relax and just take it easy. I just need another rest day. Like... I, I need a vacation. Not really a vacation. I just need, like, a couple of days off so I can just rest. That's why I think I'm tired. It's just go, 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 go. Even on my day off, it's go, 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 go. There's too much to worry about and stress. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. Don't want to bore you with any more details. But, yeah. I guess that's it for this week. Again, I apologize. I think I apologize every week for boring stuff. Hopefully, I get to do errands next week. And it won't be as boring. <laughs> so, I'll see you all next week.